Helping story for you now. A new report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say a brain wasting disease that infects deer could possibly be contagious to humans. Chronic wasting disease or CWD has been something we've re reported on here a number of times now, but this new report has people everywhere talking. And our Jesse Enman is here to tell us why. Jesse. Well, guys, this CDC report is based on testing that they did back in 2017 when they fed a monkey some deer meat that was infected with CWD. Now, that monkey contracted the disease, and that has led many people who likely had never heard of this disease prior to this, coining the term zombie deer disease. You can look it up yourself. It's all over the place right now. There are no known reports of humans getting CWD, but people are encouraged not to eat meat infected with the disease. And I spoke with Jasmine Batten. She's the wildlife disease coordinator for the Missouri Department of Conservation. She says this CDC report has caused a bit of online frenzy, but she says it doesn't change much. While there have been some experimental transmission of CWD to other species, um, the question still really kind of remains, how likely is this to transfer to people? And the bottom line is we don't know today, but the human health experts are not ready to say that the risks are zero. So Jesse, this report from the CDC isn't saying that humans can contract CWD. It's just saying it's a possibility. Right. Yeah, and for the deer, what exactly does that mean? What does it do to the animal? So scientifically speaking, if I may, it's spread by something called a prion, which is just an abnormally folded protein spread from deer to deer in the wild. Now, it's similar to other diseases, such as mad cow disease, which caused kind of a similar uproar a few years ago, if you remember. But it slowly deteriorates the animal's brain over time. Now, the Conservation Department has been testing deer for this since the early 2000s. And on opening weekends of deer season, hunters in many counties are required to get their deer tested after harvesting it. Now, the department still says to follow the CDC guidelines on eating deer meat, getting it tested and such, but they've tracked its slow spread for years, and you can jump on their website to go ahead and look at those latest numbers. But as for a disease that will turn a deer into a zombie, I think we're clear on that front. Nothing to worry about. No walking dead coming to life in your forest near you. All right. Thank you, Jesse.